So guys, I have a guest speaker today. Me. <laughs> Hello, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Jen, of course you know that already. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have my best friend here with me. <laughs> Got some skin in the game. <laughs> So today we are actually going to be talking about friendships and specifically godly friendships and why it's so important. You guys asked for this information, so we are giving it to you. But first, yes. let's start off with some prayer. So Chelsea, take it away for us. Yes. <laughs> Lord, I just want to thank you for bringing us here today. Father, I just pray that you allow Jennifer and I to be a light. Amen. Lord, allow us, use us to be a vessel. Allow the Holy Spirit to flow through us and speak wisdom onto those that need to hear this word, Lord. Um, and just understanding just the importance of godly friendship Thank and community Jesus. because he did not put us here on our earth to walk it out alone, yeah. this journey. Because as we all know, life is real. Yeah. And we need godly friendships in order to walk through that in community. So, Father, we just thank you for this time here today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. All right. So, yes, this is my best friend. We have been friends since Four. we were... How old were we? Well, okay. So, I know you have... <laughs> you have a different... I have my version. So, we knew of each other in middle school, but our friendship did not blossom and really sprout until, like, high school. We were yeah. 14? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 14. 15 years of friendship. Beautiful friendship. Yeah. Up and downs. Um, it's, it's been a journey. And the crazy thing is we only went to high school together for one year. Yeah. Majority yeah. of our that's friendship, true. we have not been in the same environment. And I yeah. think, like, that's a testament in itself. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Because I think that if there's something that's true, it can stand the distance of time. Yep. Distance of time. Wait, is that a thing? I don't know if I'm using these words right, but basically it, it withstood a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I would want to say that some things that I appreciate about you mm -hmm. are... You're genuine. Like, you really care about people. You invest in people. Mm -hmm. Like, um... Sometimes too much. <laughs> and well, I learned my true. lesson, but it's life, right? That's true. And you are the best gift giver. I mean, oh. <laughs> like, for real, <laughs> you give, like, the best gifts. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, what should I, I try, do? I try to listen to, like, the things that you need, and they may not be, per se, things that you would think somebody would want for their birthday, but right. just yeah. thoughtfulness in that sense. But... Um, I agree. Like, it, it's crazy, like, when I you have really more think... for you, though. I'm oh, not... okay, I'm I sorry. Got more. I got more good things okay, to say. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you challenge me to be better, you know? And I feel like even in seasons where we might not have been on the same page in our understanding, yeah. you still challenged me because you still were accepting. Like, you stood by me and you're still accepting of even my pride mm -hmm. or my, um stubbornness mm -hmm. you know still like there is patience in that does yeah. that make any sense yeah yeah it does. so um so yeah that's just, awesome that's t that's touching i appreciate it i was trying not to get emotional because it's <sighs> sorry <Aww. laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so important and we've like we've been in so many different seasons and journeys and the right. fact that we've been able to you know remain friends it's just it's powerful and i feel like everybody deserves that and needs that in their life um for sure. me i appreciate all the kind words that you said and obviously it, it touched me to my soul Aww. to my core um <laughs> love you um but i feel like what i love so much about you your spiritual journey you've always been a christian mm -hmm. but as far as pursuing god mm -hmm. that started um earlier for you um, between the two of us yeah. and I know personally speaking when I started my journey you know you go through friendships and just you know how you're just super overzealous in the beginning and like I need People, to remove this person right. this person um, but not everybody has to be canceled or removed and I appreciated the fact that even though your journey started so much sooner you still loved me and appreciated me for where I was at that time. And you allowed yourself to be a light and influence me in so many ways that you didn't even know. You were just being a vessel. <laughs> the support, um, it's just, it's so beautiful. Like she she spoke to me in ways that I didn't even, I know. Wow. 
you know, and that's just, it's so powerful. And thank God she didn't cancel me because she helped me along in my journey. And, you know, having someone to lean on um, in the beginning was just, it was important. Um, and I love how we can be ourselves. <laughs> that's, um, that's very true. I can be silly with you. And, you know, sometimes people think that they have to literally change completely who they are like down to your personality and God created us to be individuals and, and be different unique, yeah. and be unique and we're still able to do that like yeah. whether we go three weeks without talking it's still the same like the love that we have for each other the genuine conversation is like that time frame didn't even happen <laughs> um but she always she prays over me um having a friend that prays over you um when you guys are speaking or not <laughs> yeah. is so important that's covering you um is it's just it's important yeah i just appreciate who no. you are as a person and everything that you bring to the table and um showing who you truly are this is kind of just speaking to that point but i think that um as we mature in our walk in christ like we grow into still loving him still being fervent for him but then like growing into how our personality meshes with that mm -hmm. you know because i feel like sometimes it's like you said in the beginning you're like overzealous you're like trying to correct everybody there's a bit of pride mixed in that yeah um but then the more we grow in god the more we realize like he's merciful yeah. like my righteousness is filthy rags before him mm -hmm. um and he still loved me so why can't i love my sister yeah. you know so yeah. um when we when we really sit and understand the love of god and his mercy and grace it's like how dare I not extend that? Yeah. I mean, that's like all the good stuff about <laughs> our friendship. Yeah. How about the rough the rough times? If I had to say the most recent one was probably 2017, uh, visited you in um, Springfield. Mm -hmm. And um, on the way back to drop me off <laughs> at home, she decided to lay down a load. <laughs> so didn't care for the timeliness of it. Really, she, um, it was on her heart, placed on her heart. Um, she just felt like our relationship kind of hit a block. We had these unhealthy personas of each other, um, or thoughts mm -hmm. that we never really addressed. Um, and things have kind of turned superficial. So she kind of laid that on me <laughs> right before I left. Um, so, but we ended up talking about it. it was a really tough conversation because it was pretty much like let's lay out all the ugly things that we think of each other or that we've kind of built up over the years like from i again, mean it went back to like high school yeah yeah because I, I remember you saying and i think the part where it affected me most it was like if if our relationship's going to be superficial i don't want that in my life and like i said the conversation needed to be had it was a great conversation. I think that it definitely set up up more for success success moving forward. I knew that there was a risk that I would lose you as a friend, mm -hmm. but I also knew that where we were was not it. Mm -hmm. Like, it wasn't fair to me and it wasn't fair to you. We had closed off certain parts of our yeah. lives from past hurts or reactions. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> that was a perfect way to put it. And I think that, um, because of that, closing off certain parts of our lives in a form of protection actually ended up harming us. Really, I feel like really the big thing that we closed off was relationship stuff. And I yeah. think that for a for a young female in her 20s, like that's the time to find sisters that you can like rely on and speak to and like have them check you on things. Yeah. And we weren't doing that. So yeah, we were both in yeah very toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and we could have, if we were speaking to one we, another yeah. opening up to each other about that we could have probably saved ourselves a lot of hurt yeah um <laughs> <laughs> you know all things work out for our good and mm -hmm. i think that you know our past experiences have helped to give us more knowledge yeah and more perspective to help other people yeah i agree and i i think like i said definitely needed to be addressed we still had a level of respect and trying to understand the other person right. we didn't always agree with what the other person said but yeah. we still tried to understand mm -hmm. and have the conversation yeah that season took work it yeah. was just you know we said all right 
this ain't it. Do we want to pursue a friendship? Meaning if we want to pursue a friendship, we can't continue in this way. Yeah. And you know, you indiv you independently say yes, I independently said yes. And then we're both like, okay, well, what can we do to not go back to where we were? We got to change our mindsets. Like mm -hmm. when you think I'm low key coming at you with some petty stuff or like some weird subliminal message. Mm -hmm. No, first off, no, that's not my intention. Don't assume the worst. And if it still bothers, then just say like, hey, what did you mean by this? And, yeah. And explain. And we prayed. Mm -hmm. Like in that conversation, I think we prayed at the end of it. And it was yeah. hard. Yeah. Because I think the easy way out would have been, screw you. <laughs> like, let's forget this friendship. But yeah. um, I knew that there was more for us. How long did it take for us to like get to a place where we're like, I don't know, it wasn't work. I feel like it was a natural progression yeah. and like there was correction um, in that progression but um, I don't I can't really say a time frame because it doesn't stand out to right. me as something that was like awkward yeah and I you know and I kind of feel like a big reason why was that Christ was in it it's so important that God be in the center of friendships yes if not, they're not helping each other like through seasons that could be avoided, mm -hmm. you know? And I think we've experienced both sides yeah. of like really keeping God at the fundamental center mm -hmm. and not saying that we weren't Christians, but we didn't have God in our friendship. So yeah, like what would you say are like some verses that you refer to when you think about friendship and godliness? Like yeah. what are some verses that you refer to? Two people are better off than one. For they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. And, you know, it just brings me back to that rough patch that we had and we just spoke about. Um, had we have, um, you helped know, been in a another. healthier relationship and helped one another, yeah. um, it would have just, it would have helped that seasons that we were, the seasons that we were in individually. God does not want us to go through life alone and not even in the sense of marriage but friendship yeah mm -hmm. and yes we get our strength through God but we're human and there are times where I may be weak and I need that uplifting or encouragement or correction right yeah. um and you need a godly friend that's going to do that and really come in and cover you and pray for you right. I have another verse yes me. iron sharpens iron so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend to show rage of worthy purpose so sharpens the countenance if you think about countenance that's just like the what makes up the person their character their demeanor the the way they act their attitude so you know when i think about chelsea and i like we sharpen each other actually like even in the the toxic relationship that i, I was in it was actually chelsea um, who was doing a fast with their church and I was like, you know, what? I need to do the same and that's literally what broke the chain off of me So um, iron sharpens iron. You need to find people that sharpen you. You can't have something that is dull You need something that is sharp to cut against something else to remove those things those layers those um, years of trauma whatever it is off of you I mean like Chelsea was saying it's so important you, we're not supposed to live life alone. And even even before that, it's your relationship with God. Like, yep. you are never alone. Yep. God is with you. And if you need um, godly friends, ask God to send you some. Yep. And he is so concerned about every area of your life. Yep. He, he knows the number of hairs on your head. I mean, come on, y'all. He will bless <laughs> like, you. That's a lot. That's a lot of detail. So if you are needing a godly friend, he's going to give you one. If you are needing restoration in a friendship, yep. he will do that. Or he will also maybe show you. It's time to get to moving. So, um, Chelsea, I'm grateful for you, girl. I'm grateful for you, too. <laughs> Love you to death. I'm so grateful for you. For real. Thank you. Oh. Oh.